Matthew 15, go down to verse 21. Just something to end on and ponder. The reason why we have to rightly divide is because before the Apostle Paul, Gentiles had no claim on Almighty God. And the greatest way I can show this is a woman, this is the weaker class, a woman and her little baby girl. That's a baby girl, a little daughter, maybe 12 years old, I'm going to figure. And the little girl has a devil. Jesus is going around Israel, kneeling down. Do you want to be healed? You want to see? He heals that Jewish woman or heal this Jewish man. But when a Gentile is right in front of him begging him, he's God Almighty. He's the loving, most loving Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm going to show you what he does because he cares about the word of God. Watch this. Verse 21. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan. Now in the book of Luke, she's called a Greek. Syrophoenician. She's a Gentile. Came out of the same coast and cried unto him, said, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Verse 23. And he says, I will heal you. He answered her not a word. His disciples see this, and they said, so I say, send her away, for she cried after us. She couldn't get his attention, and she's begging them, and they're just like, they're, they're Jews too. They're just like, get, get her away. But he answered, I'm oh, sorry, send her away. But he answered said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's why he told them earlier, don't go in the way of the Gentiles. Do you see how profoundly that is? I love how the Bible says he answered her not a word. He doesn't even listen to her. You're not on my radar right now. I got things to do with Israel. That was his earthly ministry. Now, that was a type of his first coming. Now, he will deal with Gentiles at his second coming. That's what the kingdom of the gospel. All the nations of the earth be blessed. So now look at this the second time. Verse number 25. Then came she and worshipped him. Type of the Gentiles coming to worship in the kingdom. And said, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, it is not meat to take the children, that's the children of Israel's bread, and cast it to the, you know what we Gentiles were? Uh, Dogs. <laughs> now watch her humility. She gets it. And she said, truth, Lord, I I'm just a lowly Gentile dog. Yet the dogs, they eat of the crumbs not even the bread, the crumbs which fall from their master's table. She understood that Israel was going to be the head of the nations and that she needed to submit herself. That's when he gave it to her. Then he answered and said, O oh woman, great is thy faith. You know why he said great is thy faith? She understood. We Gentiles are just dogs under the table. We want the scraps, man. That's why after Israel, after he fed the thousands, he gathered up those 12 basketfuls because what, what those apostles are going to do is after Israel is fed, they're going to take the leftover scraps and give them out to the Gentiles. That's what's going to happen in the kingdom. That's what that's all about. Oh, thank God that today, because that was in his earthly ministry, that as time progressed on, God says, you know, now I have a plan and purpose I didn't make known. Of those Gentile dogs, I'm going to get them saved in my son by faith. Amen. I'm going to put them in my son, and I'm going to exalt those Gentiles, Ephesians says, to the heavenly places with me.